As a first generation college student, the transition from high school to college was a little difficult for me, mainly because I considered myself to be a quiet person, introverted. I didn't like going out and approaching people first. So the first few months of college, actually, I felt isolated and alone. But once I did put myself out there, I started joining clubs and organizations on campus that related to my field and my interests and hobbies. And I started to make some amazing friends and I found myself feeling less alone every single day. And I'd say putting myself out there and joining the clubs and all these social events actually helped me out with any kind of um, isolation that I was feeling. My biggest takeaway from LLT would be how I learned to network with people and create connections with them. Through those skills that I, de that I developed, I further refined in college and I have been able to speak to professionals within my field in regards to obtaining internship opportunities and possible job outlooks for after college. LLT also made me realize that I'm not alone. Um, as a first generation Latina going to college, I was able to see other Latina girls in the same boat as me, and we were all trying to help each other succeed. We would push each other, we would say, we would ask each other how we were doing in classes, but we always made sure that we were all doing okay and striving for our own success. For me, my goal in life is to get a job where it doesn't feel like a job, where I enjoy what I do for the company. And while I'm not sure what that might be right now, I do hope to find it through all my um, internship opportunities and the experience that I'll be gaining. And success to me is being someone that my family is proud of someone that the kids in my family are able to look up to, the kids in my old neighborhood, and any elementary school children, middle school kids, be showing that a first generation student is able to make it far without the without with a lot of help. But also that anyone who says that we can't and we're not meant to is wrong and we are able to succeed for our families and our friends and anyone that is rooting us on and while that may be my overall vision of success i do think that there are small daily versions of success whether it's being able to get out of bed and actually get some work done get an assignment done during the semester any little accomplishment is always something to celebrate and just be proud of yourself for A piece of advice that I wish I had known in high school before coming to college would, I think would have been how to uh, balance school life and social life. I found myself finding it hard to really find a balance between the two. I, us I had the habit of focusing all my time into schoolwork and academics rather than going out and meeting my friends and hanging out with them and giving myself a small break between study sessions. So I would say being able to manage your academic life and your social life would be a huge help in, being, in reducing the stress and anxiety that college sometimes comes with. I am still in contact with several of my friends from high school that I graduated with and who were uh, probably like a year or two younger than me and they have they were basically my family in high school I love them to death and we did so many things together made so many memories and being in college made me realize how important those connections are and we do still stay in touch even though we have different schedules, we have busy lives now, 
whenever one of us needs each other, we will always be there for them. And to me, that's really important because we're able to reminisce in all our past memories and still make new ones together whenever we're, we meet up in the same town. And I'd say being able to keep up with possibly not all your past friends, but some of the ones that really made an impact in your life is a great thing to have. And you're able to, like, they know who you are already and you know they can support you. They have supported you for a while now. So I really cherish my high school friendships that I've been able to keep up till now. One thing I'd say that I miss about high school is the connections you can make with your teachers because in college you can be in classes with up to 200 students it's really hard to make that one-on-one -on -one connection with your teacher and get to talk to them while in high school you're in a class with about 30 students at a time it makes it a lot easier and i never really expected to miss that but i realized that one-on-one -on -one connection with your teacher or your professor is really important if you want to be able to succeed if you have any questions your professor is able to actually know who you are and um they're able to help you personally rather than as like just another general student in their classroom as first generation latina i can say that my advice for um other Latino high school students would be to just be proud of your roots and your heritage. I know for me it was a little difficult because I felt like it made me more of an outcast when I first entered college. I had experienced some culture shock. I didn't really know many other Latinos at school but once I did meet them they made me realize that I should be proud of where my family comes from and the story we have and just like our culture is a part of who we are and there's no reason to be ashamed or to keep that hidden from the world it's definitely something that has made you who you are as you've grown up and it's a huge benefit and blessing to have it's like not everyone can say that they have they've lived the american culture but they also have their family's latino culture in their blood and in their lifestyle